Hello, I'm Zhou Hao. I'm from China. I'm a university student. My friend is screening at this burning nail. My friend is talk about uh, a male prostitute whose name is Tabros, who worked in an alien. And at this alien, he met another female prostitute named Nessus. And uh, and uh, another day, they he met a. Uh, um, mystery boy, and at this three relationship, uh, they take place some interesting story uh, in it, and uh, this, this story is for, is a little is uh, also a modern adaptation from a uh, uh, Greek mythology, mythology, uh, Nessus. So I hope you can enjoy this thing and uh, like this thing. You played the lead role and you're also the, the director of the movie, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And also the screenwriter. Also the screenwriter? Yeah. So you basically did everything yourself? <laughs> mm, no, not everything. <laughs> um, most important is the three occupation of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Screenwriter, director, and the leading role. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what was your role? You're the producer? Me? Yeah? No, 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 just translator. Ah, just translator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, I'm sorry, then I got that wrong. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you get the idea to, to shooting this movie? I mean, you did everything, or almost everything yourself, and I guess it also took a lot of oh, we, time and effort. Okay, because <laughs> I'm just a student, college student. Uh, I cannot find uh, an investment. Mm -hmm. So uh, at first, I just want to make this thing as a student work. You know, uh, when you are at school, you should shoot some things as a like uh, home homework. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, but then it become a long future thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just like that because I don't have investment. So I should I need to do so many jobs at this thing. Hmm. And where did you get the idea from to shoot the movie about about prostitutes? Oh, uh, I hope it was not from the jobs you had to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not really know them, but I'm interested in the people who worked as a speci special jobs. Uh, mm, and uh, that, that is very fantastic for me. I want to know what happened to Zing, and uh, so I write uh, this story about Zing. Mm -hmm. um, and the be at the beginning, I want to, I want to uh, write a, a story about narcissism, uh, person, you know, narcissism. Mm. Narcissist. Narcissist. Ah, okay, yeah. Narcissist. And I think the prostitute maybe can mix the into that part. Mm -hmm. So I write, write this story and start to shoot it. Mm -hmm. But is this a topic that you see regularly in Chinese movies? Prostitutes, yeah, male yeah. prostitution? Yeah, yeah, not, yeah? yeah. Okay. Not, not, real, not really seen. So it's rather rare that you see it. You do not see it, or you see it in, in Chinese movies? Not really. Ah, okay. Not really, yeah. And homosexuality? Is that something that is a topic in society, in movies, and public discussions? Is something that is a topic in society, in movies, and public discussions? 
Uh, there are some discussions, but not so many discussions. Um, even some media maybe can talk about that, but it's not uh, many, it's not many, just a song, mm -hmm. just a little maybe. But is it just something that people do not talk about or is there also an homophobic atmosphere? I mean, did you have any problems shooting this movie with these topics? No, no, I don't have any problems because we shoot this thing at night, <laughs> all night. So we're working at night and uh, most of the people are sleeping or they are rest. And most of the, um, the story takes place at uh, Alia. Uh, I, I don't know if you know, at Alia it's not, uh, and uh, it's okay for shooting that. Mm -hmm. There's no problem to do that. Yeah, I mean, you're already talking about the, the shooting conditions, and mm. I have to say I found it very interesting that most parts of the movie were shot in this very small alley. Yeah, yeah. And what I found interesting was how this also formed sort of the aesthetics of the movie. I mean, how did you adapt to this very narrow place to shoot in there? I, I imagine that it was quite difficult, actually. Yeah, it's difficult. You use it as a technical problem or...? Um, aesthetic and technical, both in a way. Oh, for that problem we just uh, work hard to solve it, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and something else I realized was that the movie mainly was yellow because of the lights at yeah, night time. Yeah. And I also thought that adds really to the atmosphere of the movie. Was that intended in the first place or was it just something coincidental? Mm, it's mm, coincidental because we don't have money to buy the just like this lights or other uh, equipment to make, make the lights more beautiful. So we just use that yeah, tonight, that blue uh, dung, uh, the lights, yeah. the lights, just that lights because the, the lights in that old town is like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't use the, uh, we don't use other lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's like that, coincidentally. I have to say that he always go like at night to look some good spots, mm. take pictures, uh, take photos of it. And uh, I don't think it's just a coincidence. He really liked this place because of the lights. And uh, so he just take it all together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where exactly did you shoot it? You said it was in the old town of what city? Well, is it oh, your hometown? It's not my hometown. A, um, because I, uh, I'm a university student. That university uh, nearby ha has an old town, has an old street, old street. So um, at rest time, I always go there to. <laughs> to find some special um, place to take pictures, to find some little place, uh, place I'm interested in. So, um, just like coincidentally, I found that place is very shoot for this thing. So I began to make, make this story and also to uh, um, discover, discover the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I watched the movie, I, I have to say, I also had to think of movies by Wong Kar Wai. I don't know if, if that was intentionally or... Well, my question mainly is, where did you get the ideas from for the aesthetics? Did you actually watch other movies and thought, yeah, I want to take these parts of the movie and have this kind of aesthetics in my movie as well? Or did you just try to create something very unique by yourself? Um. You mean am um, I influenced by other films? Yeah. Mm, maybe the Hong Kong uh, director Wang Kar-wei, maybe just uh, him, a little bit influence. But others, I don't think so because um, this film, I I don't talk much from other thing about male prostitute, like uh, foreign films or or that because. Uh, and yeah, not so much influenced by other things. Mm -hmm. And um, well, it's sort of a free hook relationship in the movie between two guys and a woman. And um, well, I always had the feeling that 
the main person is not really sure of what he wants in his life and that he's sort of drawn between those people. Um, <clears throat> is it that way or how would you see it? Uh, <coughs> 呃，好像这些关系跟呃这些两个导演，呃，你跟他们的关系好像不是嗯很能看得到出看出来的，是因为你不太知道自己要干什么，还是是这样做的。Yeah, uh, yeah, it um because it's a narcissistic, narcissistic. Person. So you know the narcissist is me is from Greek uh, math, Greek math. That means that person just uh, fall in love with himself, not, not uh, even though have an, another person have feelings for him. He always think, oh, it's uh, not not what I want. I want is just myself. So you can see the, in the thing he always watching the mirror. Mm -hmm. He always touch touch himself. He always enjoying himself world. So that maybe cause cause his character mm, just like I don't care anybody but anybody else. I just care for myself. So maybe the relationship is just like uh, what you think about. Mm -hmm. So it was not just the names of the flowers, but it also referred to Greek mythology, like Narcissus and yeah. the mirror scenes and everything. Yeah. And um, so, so you would say that the main person is an egoistic person who loves himself? Egoistic. Egoistic. Yeah. 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 Mm. And. But at the same time, I had the feeling that he does have feelings for the other people. So he's, he's not just that, isn't he? I mean, he's somewhere in between, I had the feeling, between loving himself, not knowing what to yeah. do, and at the same time yeah. he, trying he's to... A bit, he's, a, he's also like, a little bit confusing mm -hmm. about how to handle this relationship between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. So sh sh he also tried to find a way to uh, love this relationship but uh, uh, yeah since you've written the script since you were the director and played the lead role mm. how much of yourself is in the main person in this narcissus how much myself yeah I, I don't have so much <laughs> because it's just a story mm -hmm. uh, I I'm not doing this job and I don't have this experience uh, through this story, I just created this story, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's not so much from me myself. I, I didn't mind. I, di I didn't mean the work he's doing, just sort of the yeah, your personal influences. If there were a lot of personal influences that went into the movie, personal influence, may mm. may I ask in which aspect? I'm, I actually don't, I'm not thinking of a certain aspect, I'm just wondering about the process of how the movie came to be. Like, when you shoot the movie and you're personally very involved, like, it's not just a job, I think, because you wrote the script, you, you were oh, the director, oh, oh. you were the main person in it. So I thought that maybe a lot of yourself, a lot of your oh, oh, that passion is yeah, also yeah. in the movie. Mm, in China, we can... Mm, we can know this kind of person, but uh, I don't know them really or directly, but I can know them just like if you go to San Pauli, they, they have also like in, the, in my film, they have a um, label. Mm -hmm. Label in, on the toilet wall, there are their name and their number. Uh, what? So that means they, 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 they want something. And... Uh, uh, and the other parts, I don't know now. Maybe, maybe have some influence from from. Yeah, I cannot remind now. Okay. Um, how did you find the other actors? Are those people from your university, or did you do a casting? Or? No, I don't do a casting. They are my. They are from our university. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, they all cool. Are my uh, from my uni university? They are some are my classmates, some are my schoolmates. Yeah, it's just like that. Um, has the movie already been screened somewhere publicly? No, 
No. So you don't know yet any reactions of an audience? No, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. What are you expecting? Do you have any expectations what will happen when people see this movie here or in China? Of course, of course. I'm expecting more people watching this film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I think this film is uh, the first, first film in China to talk about uh, Mountain Boy. I, if you know the Mountain Boy meaning, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's the first film. Yeah, I, I, I want more, more people watch this film. Mm -hmm. Taiwan is, uh, you the public, the, the reaction. Uh, sorry, but um, uh, do, do you have any expectations how people will react to the movie when they watch it? Do you think there will be a public discussion about, about it? Will people talk about it? How will they talk about it? Do you have any expectations for that? I don't have it really. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be sort of a surprise how people will react. Yeah, because um, when I finished this film, it's, uh, I received a, a selector from Burning Nail Festival. Mm -hmm. He needed me send this film to Burning Nail, so I just gave this film. So there's no public screening or like something like that. So I don't. Um, but uh, some teacher in my school have, have already seen this thing. They, they love it, <laughs> I just mm -hmm. want to say. Yeah. That's good. That's, I mean, I liked it as well. I really thought it was something different, something very new. That's what I really liked about the movie. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, well, do you have any expectations for this festival, for the next days you're going to spend here? Uh, uh, expectation for the festival. Things you want to do. You yeah, I want else. to watch the movies, uh, mm -hmm. which is so many good movies in this at this burning day. Off. Yeah, I want to watch the movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, then I wish you a very good festival. I hope you will enjoy it, and I hope you will watch a lot of good movies. Okay. And thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.